Hey, I'm pleasant. Good evening, everybody, and hockey fans. This is Sports Night News. I'm Joe Bork, and this is going to be a next Pond Key Take as we look at another goalie hype edition of the Pond Key Take, as this is going to be on Francois Brassard, as he won the Nick Vitucci for goalie, or not goalie, for former defenseman and coach Nick Luco. He won the Nick Vitucci Award. As former Reading Rose, a team I'm a big fan of and cover the team and have hopped on as color commentator as well, King hats off to Nick Luco on getting his goaltender and having that great defensive system and goaltending system that they run down there, having it get done for him. By far the best season, a 967. That's just freakish um to have in the postseason. And then a 911 and a 219. Um he went off in the regular season this year as well for the Jackson Weissman. And is actually a former main mariner of the current opponent of are running well, my local Rocal on the team I cover and I'm a fan of the Reading Royals. So it is going to be interesting to see what the Icemen are able to do as they already swept, literally swept their team out of the joint due to the help of Broussard in net in the first round of this postseason. So it's going to be interesting to see if they can continue their hot play or if they are going to have some struggles going forward in the postseason. But overall, Francois Bassard started his career as a six-round pick of the Ottawa Senators, was great at Carleton University, a standout there, was good for the Mariners in two years, uh, struggled in only a handful of games in 20 and 21 uh, with the Wheeling Nailers, went up and had a good 21-22 three-game stretch with the Wolfpack this year as well, and then was obviously a stud for the Iceman to get him the Nick Vitucci Award. As I said, um, they swept their first round series. Now they look to take on their next opponent after beating the Atlanta Gladiators, who are no slouch of a team. Uh, this season, the Gladiators were a pretty darn good team, and they just take advantage of them and go in there and sweep them. And the final game was 5 nothing as well. I mean, talk about just really putting a team out when you go in there and win 5 to nothing. 2-1 to one the game before, great game by Broussard, and then they win the other game of that series, I can't remember, 5-4, to four, which was the game that Williams was in, so that was a little bit higher scoring, and then 3-2 to two in the first game of that series by the same score that my Reading Royals won by in the first game of the series, but this has been an absolutely fantastic season for Francois Bassard, an absolutely fantastic season for a team that I've been rooting for from afar because Luco's a former running Royal stud defenseman, obviously an assistant coach. Kirk McDonald, I'm sure, is rooting from him from afar. So it's fantastic to see Francois Bassard continue to not carry, but be a carrying weight, one of the X-factor carrying weights of the Jacksonville Iceman this season to be able to win that Nick Fatucci Award and to be able to just be a stud with the rest of the guys like Brendan Harris, who's been fantastic in this entire postseason, Christopher Brown, Hurachuk, Martin, um, Lynch has been good in this postseason as well. And then, of course, on defense, they have a Fortunato, Berzola, Giles, Friend, Hadfield, Panetta. So they have a good defensive front in front of him as well. And that's what really helps Francois Basal, but he's also one of the most freakishly talented and side-to-side -side movers at 6'1", 178, a very athletic, quick goaltender that I think likely will get more of a shot at the AHL level moving forward because of winning this Petucci Award. It'll get him great recognition, the former six-round pick, and he deserves all the recognition. Got to watch a decent amount of Iceman uh, game this year on Flow Hockey because of how good Nick Luca was. You want to get to support and represent him, and great to see his team get a sweep in the first round. Hopefully the Royals will join him in the second round of the postseason, as now the series is tied 2-2 two two, uh, with Francois Broussard's former team, the Maine Mariners. But this has been a quick video on Francois Broussard and the stud goaltender winning the Nick Fertucci Award, deservingly so, and then winning three of the four games for the Jacksonville Iceman in the first round against the Atlanta Gladiators as they just swept the Gladiators out of the Kelly Cup playoffs. Peace out, everybody. Please continue to subscribe down below. Above them, the easy to use widget. Keep trying to go to 230 or more by the end of April. We appreciate you guys' love and support this far. Congratulations on the first round sweep, Jacksonville Ice Iceman fans. Peace out, everybody, and have a great day.